What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Young Woo back with some more on our blog news, man. Before I even get this shit started, make sure y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, man. Not light up, but right now, make sure y'all checking out my website on the blog. Make sure y'all checking out my website on theblock.com for that fly merch I got, like them fly ass shirts I rock. Not let up, but right now, man, I just dropped Block Music 4. You can stream it and order horror copies of Block Music 4, 3, 2, and 1. You feel me? Do that shit, not let up, but right now. Now, today, um, I'm looking at a, um, a news clip that popped up on my top timeline where it's showing a woman was armed with a knife up inside. It look, what it looks like a a Walmart, you feel me? I've been Walmart off there, so I know what Walmart look like. Um, they arm is on with the knife. I think at first he got the gun out. You feel me? She like he like put the gun down, put the gun down, and she not putting the gun down. He put he put the gun up up in the holster and pull out the taser gun. You feel me? So I'm gonna read the story to y'all. A Florida deputy remembered to use a taser instead of his firearm when taking down an armed white woman who was wielding a knife at a Walmart in Summerfield. Dramatic body cam footage from the March 30 incident shows Marion County Deputy Christopher Witt and his partner, Detective Pamela Thomas, ordering the woman at gunpoint to drop the knife multiple times after locating her inside the storage department. Drop the knife, White commanded. The woman identified as Brandy McGowan ignored the deputy's commands while speaking incoherently. After several more attempts, the deputy then quickly switched to his taser and deployed it at the woman's arm, causing her to immediately fall backwards from the shock. It was later determined that McGowan entered the store threatening people with the brick. Store managers told authorities while inside the store, the woman located a pocket knife on display and cut the package open with a pair of scissors from the store and continued to threaten customers and employees. Following the woman's arrest, it was discovered that she was intoxicated as she had ingested nearly four grams of methamphetamine earlier that day, according to WWSB. She was transported to a nearby hospital to be evaluated, was later charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill and held at a $1,000 bond at the Marion County Jail. The incident serves as the truth that police officer knows when to, when and how to use a taser versus a firearm by not mistaking one for the other as the world tragically witnessed in 2021 when former Minnesota officer Kim Potter fatally shot 20-year-old black man Dante Wright during a traffic stop. So listen, man, basically, uh, yeah, they holding the woman at gunpoint, like I said, and they switched it over. You feel me? Like, they did that. You feel me? So shout out to the officers that did that. You feel me? Because, man, I thought they popped her. You feel me? How she fell back, like, instantly, like, boom. That go to show you that you don't need guns to keep. You don't need to always use the the intent to kill motherfuckers or everything. Like, the motherfucker tasers is there for a reason. Use it. You feel me? A lot of lives can be saved if the officers don't so-called mistake the gun for the taser, you feel me, on everything. This is the perfect example. And these guys right here, they should hire this person right here to train people, you feel me? But listen, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, man. Not later, but right now, my name is Young Wu. This is On The Blog News. Trapping is my hobby. Well, I don't like tsunami. Can't let a nigga rob me. Close that back door. Homies ain't on me. Just the things ain't safe. Gotta keep it on me. Just me and my best friend. That compact 40. I pass it to my shorty. She gon' pop that for me. And I don't trust the soul. And I don't wanna go. So I'm a bust for sure I know they want me gone I don't do it for awards Got these Grammys on my neck Try to get my dog a bag And he ran off with my check Wanted to kill that boy at first Now I ain't even upset Still got my rollie in the sky Hold their bands up when I flex And I'm only getting richer And he probably going dead Yeah, I hear him sneak this But my deposit's the red I got money hanging out all up my pockets I'm a threat So I let myself go, bro This I'm proud of getting stressed Stepping is my hobby Where don't
like tsunami Can't let a nigga rob me I might catch a body Sexing is my hobby Tell me that you got me Wanna sex your body Stepping is my hobby Wet I'm like tsunami Can't let a nigga rob me I might catch a body Sexing is my hobby Tell me that you got me Wanna sex your body just like a shark when I'm swimming in your ocean Girl, that pussy got some power When I hit it, it be poking Like some fire weed Lick it for I smoke it, girl I'm an OG This dick gon' have you choking, uh Girl, let me fuck you slow And I'ma touch your soul Can I pull up, let me know but girl, don't tell me no. Girl, don't tell me you saying no. you gon' leave, testing my emotions. I ain't tryna lose my cool. You help a nigga focus, yeah. You love me, I love you. Tell me when I'm stroking, I'm gon' trip you in some juice. VVs be the coldest cut, bamboos in a chain. Put you on a game, I like your tattoo of my name I'm trying to put it in your frame Ain't gotta ask me for a thing Cash it out up in your name Bitches trying to take your swag But when it's took, it ain't the same Girl, stepping is my hobby Where well, don't like tsunami Can't let a nigga rob me I might catch a body Sexing is my hobby Tell me that you got me Wanna sex your body Stepping is my hobby, wet I'm like tsunami, can't let a nigga rob me, I might catch a body, sexing is my hobby, tell me that you got me, wanna sex your body.